What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Out of Stock. I'm up here with Heat Train Kicks. I got a special delivery from Hotness Feet and my boy Will Knows at Motivation Dream Chasers. We're gonna do a little Dream Chasers versus OVO episode. Kinda meme internet history at this point. Everyone knows Twitter fingers. Meek lost. Meek's winning, man. He has Nicki Minaj. Drake's latest drop. I'm not really feeling it, man. I'm from Philly. I gotta take Meek's side every time. Bike life Meek Mills. We got the Puma. Wrapping right here, it's kind of normal, no branding of Dream Chasers whatsoever. OVO's way better packaging. That's just like an average Puma bag. And then look at that special paper. You don't get this in every door. These sold out as soon as they came out, huh? Yeah. Those didn't sell out. You can still buy those. Puma Clyde Lowe's. The paper is kind of normal. Quilt design, quilt pattern, and uh, some patent leather. A Blazer Glories. I think these are a new collab for him. Meeks had a couple other collabs with Puma. The crazy colorway. They were real flashy. Yeah. But these, they're actually nice for the summer, man. The quote is kind of what he's going for this time around. Kind of gives it like a luxury feel. Mm. And with some patent leathering on the toe too. I kind of mess with them. And then you got the Dream Chasers logo. Like the quilt, like the Don C2. And it's like double lacing. So you can get really creative with that. Kind of also looks like a dad shoe. A gel sole with a trinomic cushioning. I don't really know what this pattern is. It could be dirt bike treads, treads. and you know, mix about that bike life. The lows are 90, these are 130. Pretty affordable and if you're a Meek Mill fan, I can't see see you passing them on these. So for the OVO, you got OVO right here. You have the owl on the inside. Basically kind of looks like a GR release but just with Drake's name on it. You got Stingray on the mud guard right by the lace loops. You got the Air Jordan 23 in gold in her tongue has that Coogee looking print on it. Gold stitching, which is synonymous with the OVO Jordan branding. Kind of gives it a 90s look with the Stingray print just because it gives it like, kind of like a, its own vibe. Now with these, these look like more like high fashion, more modern day. You know what they should have done? Like on the normal tens, it has like all Jordan's achievements and stuff. They should have put like Drake's achievements on here. If they put that, I think these shoes would have even been more hype. So these for retail were 225 but they were a surprise really. So these were a little bit harder to get than those. And the average resale price is $8.25. And these didn't sell out. Market wise, it's not as big for the shoe. These weren't made as limited as the OVO. Nike and Jordan brands gonna put the Drake shoes on kind of like a limited inventory. So obviously they're way more coveted, but you know, with Dream Chasers and Puma, they wanted to make it more available for everyone. Both really good artists. They're both nice shoes, very versatile, but in the end it depends who you like more, Drake or Meek Mill. Very similar shoes, yeah. all white, subtle, good for the summer. It all depends on the hype and who you're trying to rep. Like Meek has the streets, Drake has the pop charts. But in the end, we all know who you need to watch out for when it comes to sneaker collabs. Yeezy season. Thanks for checking out the latest episode of Out of Stock. Next time around, we'll be featuring the 750 Boost. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, me and Mel. We'll see you in the next video and peace.